Saturday morning. We just got up a little bit ago. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding I accept my head Look at that Look at that A beauty Good job, Atticus coffee <laughs> it's fine it is Monday morning thought I would kind of start my day getting less puffy and doing a little Q&A a little girl talk I posted a Q&A to my Instagram this past week and was actually like not expecting anybody to answer but we did get questions I was really proud honestly <laughs> I was really happy with it <laughs> I don't even know where to start with all Oh, and I definitely brought all my skincare out in my new bag that I'm obsessed with. You see me reaching into the Mary Poppins bag, that's why. Look at those bags. Anyway, I guess we can start. It's like cold out and I brought my ice roller. So I got a few of just like, how are you? How have you been? This says, how have you been? You look so happy in your vlogs lately. This morning, driving, not so much, but <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. I'm tired. It's been really busy. I've had a really hectic couple of weeks. Definitely doing better with my own mental health journey. Okay, I don't think I can ice roll my face anymore. It's so cold. I think we start with some lighter ones <laughs> so that I can wake up a little. So I got two. <laughs> so random, but I love it. I got two like this or that questions. So this says mountains or ocean. And I'm gonna be that really annoying person that's like boom. I mean, easy answer, I'm from Florida. The ocean always has my heart. I don't think I've ever done it that seamlessly before. What I've always loved, like every travel show I've ever watched, oh my gosh, I got so into watching like House Hunters International during COVID, cause it just like, I needed some type of joy in my life. I would absolutely have a house on a mountain that overlooks the ocean, yep final answer okay and then sunrise or sunset the reality is I don't want to wake up for the sunrise I mean who, what am I saying I'm up before the Sun all the time but actually I guess it depends where I am West Coast sunsets East Coast sunrise I'm really bad at this or that oh I got one about a potato hold on what is your favorite potato <laughs> I can honestly say it's something I've never thought about before I'm gonna go loaded baked potato or my mom's mashed potatoes one of those two I got one that said, how's Ziggy? Ziggy is good. We are calling her toothless now because she has no teeth. I don't know how many teeth she has left, but she got 12 pulled recently. But overall, Ziggy's good. What have you been watching lately? Any wrecks? I did watch Last of Us. That was great. Pedro Pascal, what's up? Ted Lasso. I mean, truthfully, what have I been watching lately is tennis. The Monte Carlo Masters were just on and now we're in like full clay court swing. So if anyone else out there loves tennis as much as I do, hit me up in the comments. Last night we had a friend come over after Shelby and Ryan's engagement party. We're all just hanging out, talking, whatever. And then there was like the slightest of a lull and I put on the finals because I really just wanted to watch them. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, someone said, do you have any tips for starting a vlog? If you've thought about it, if you're at all interested in it, I would say just do it. Like if you're hesitating because you're worried about what someone else is gonna think, I get it. I mean, the truth is you are putting yourself out there when you look like this sometimes. You just can't take things too seriously. That's what I try to remind myself all the time. Anyway, if you wanna start a vlog, do it. Who cares? You know, there was a comedian Zan and I were 
were watching Pete Holmes, one of his specials. I'm gonna paraphrase badly, but it was essentially like, nothing matters. Like, <laughs> we're on a rock swirling around in this vast space. I would say just go ahead and start. Get that vlog going, honey. This person said, hi, I love you and your vlogs. I love you. What are you working on right now? Anything exciting. So I'm starting a podcast with one of my good friends in town. I really do hate when people are like, I can't tell you anything, but get excited. But like, I'm excited. We've been working really hard to bring something special. So yeah, podcasts I'm very excited about. Also vlogs. Um, do you still believe in manifesting? I do. Even down to like my lock screen on my phone is a manifestation board. So here's like a little glimpse. I think that's the main thing with manifestation is it gives you a visual representation of what you want to achieve and it's just a constant reminder. It says what are you wanting to gain from your YouTube channel? Well I guess I gain and I, I guess it depends how you mean it. I'll take it how I'm how I'm thinking you mean it. I've been refocusing my content more on wellness like mental wellness, physical, emotional wellness and that's been really fun for me and honestly helps keep myself and hold myself accountable. I don't know if that's what you meant but that's how I took it. Oh, okay, this is who do you work for in the music industry? Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, I do work for a label here in town. For privacy purposes, I'm not gonna say which. I might do a vlog more centered around what I do because I don't think a lot of people know about it. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do that yet, but yes, I still work in the music industry. I'm not gonna say who for, but that is my day job. It says, how was your march? Hectic but good. All right, let's remove the patches. I got a couple questions asking how I am or how I've been doing. I know one of the first ones I answered was a how are you, but I got a couple more in depth. One says, how are you based off your until Oh my god how are you based off your other mental health check-ins and then i got one that said what do you do when you're going through a hard time oh also how do you deal with a bad day so there's different levels if i have just a bad day i do allow my time to wallow or like live in my dark space but then you have to get out of it at some point you've got to just fight back a little bit and i really believe that we decide how we feel you decide how you react which will lead me into the second part of this. So based off the other mental health check-in, a toner wipe. I went through something early, well actually late last year. I've been dealing with it and just working on accepting it. I feel a little bit more comfortable talking about it. I'll sum it up. Uh, I had a friendship breakup late last year, I'd say. Not something I expected to happen. There's aspects of it that still make me mad, still make me sad. But yeah, this person and I were really close and we no longer are, which ultimately is fine. Those who I'm close with and have spoken with about it, it's things we all go through. And one of the main points of this channel is I want to be able to have honest conversations even if it's hard so I did want to speak to it I also got a question what are your friendship red and green flags so they all kind of work together well boys can be awful but girls can also be terrible I do think that going through a friendship breakup with one of your girlfriends can be one of the biggest heartbreaks and something that takes a lot of time to get over that was definitely true for me I think it's easier said than done to you know if you feel like you need to cut somebody off if someone who's close to you isn't cheering you on or isn't supporting something in your life that you've worked really hard for and that makes you happy you probably don't need to be that close with that person you know if you feel any kind of gut feeling I think ultimately we just need to trust ourselves looking back through my friendship with this person I definitely noticed moments that I overlooked where I kind of turned a blind eye to because I was close with them. In retrospect, I'm just like, I would never, like this is not okay. Trust yourself, trust your gut. If you don't think you should be close with somebody in your life, big or small, the reason. I know I've talked a lot about the Mel Robbins podcast, but I listened to one not that long ago about how to handle negative people. A quote that stuck out to me in that podcast was, there's no reason not to be kind to other people. The friendship breakup I experienced was more so one of lies, no direct communication, just it felt very like middle school, high school. And don't get me wrong, like I had my time, I had my moments of being terrible in middle school for sure, but 
I've got too many good people in my life. I have too many things that I'm excited about and that I'm working towards. I've just realized like I don't need to dwell and waste all of my energy feeling and missing and being angry at or sad because of this person who clearly doesn't care about me ultimately. So I think it's important to just remember who you are what you're worth and what you believe in because the truth is it's like the things that i've heard and the lies that have been apparently circulating they're just that they're not true and i made a decision not to address them because i don't think it's worth it anymore i'm no longer gonna waste my time all of that to say if it's a toxic friendship if these people are just being negative to aspects in your life that are making you really happy and they're not supporting you and they're not your biggest cheerleaders when you're their biggest cheerleaders. I am now refocusing and trying not to take it personally. Oftentimes I find them to be projections of their own insecurities and their own issues that they need to work on. Also in the Mel Robbins podcast, I wrote it down because I love it. It says bad moods are more infectious than good moods. And we have mirror neurons in our mind that mirror people's emotions. So if you're surrounding yourself with negative people, even if they're people who you think are good, but all they wanna do is talk badly about others who aren't in the room with them, these are not people to surround yourself with. Bad moods are infectious. Surround yourself with the good ones. So this one's interesting. It says, how do you deal with other people or friends being more successful than you? You know, if your friends are successful and working hard, we should all be their cheerleader. Same that I just said, for other people towards you, you have to be that for other people as well. Envy, trying to one-up each other. If, if you're holding these emotions towards somebody, I would say maybe turn it inward and see what you are trying to accomplish or like kind of reset, see how you can achieve your goals. Now that's if you're friends with them. If you don't know these people, like if I don't know somebody on Instagram and I'm following them and I see their posts and they make me feel so jealous or like if they make me feel any kind of way, I will just unfollow them. I love going through an unfollow phase. It's just taking, again, that, that negativity or that toxic like mental cycle out of your everyday life or working towards doing that. Like coming up with your friends is the dream. Like that is the ultimate. And I truly think that friends working together and cheering each other on will help us all achieve our goals together. That's my takeaway from that. <laughs> it goes, good morning. You wanna answer one? Mountains or oceans? Mountains. Yeah, probably, yeah. I don't know, man. I'm starting to really like the ocean though. There is, I guess, I like them both, man. I like them both a lot. This is news. This is relaxing. It is so relaxing. Okay, wait, one more. Sunrise or sunset? Sunrise. Sunrise, yeah. You are definitely. My old apartment, that was one of my favorite things. I know. I never did vlog at your old place. He had the best backyard. Okay, uh, how do I maintain schedule? I need to figure out how to get more organized. I used to keep a uh, like hard paper planner. Those don't really work so well for me now. It's just easier, I think, to keep a bunch of different calendars if they're all in one like hub. Google Drive and Google Calendar are essential for me. So I have it color coordinated and I keep a calendar key in my notes on my phone so that I know what color is what in case I forget. But that's also another thing is my notes section. I keep it up. I'm just a person that needs to write a bunch of things down and I always have my phone, so that's just the easiest way for me to keep myself organized. I set a lot of timers or alarms. During the day, I'll do that. If I know I have a lot to get done, if I know I have a lot to get done, I'll literally set myself a timer. So I'll spend 45 minutes doing one thing, take a little break, and then I'll come back and do something else that I have to get done. It's just easier for me. I'd highly recommend it. I think that might be all. That's it. We did a Q&A, and I didn't even get done with my skincare. Last step, moisturizer. And then we gotta go. Babe, do you have anything? Do you wanna answer one more? Is that too deep for you for your coffee? Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite potato? Mashed. Mashed? The way I make it? Yeah. Yeah. 
like my mama. Well, I wanna say thank you to everybody for tuning in and doing this little Q&A. I actually loved it. I think I need to come up with a better plan of how I'm gonna answer them. <laughs> so maybe a little more organization for me. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that. But otherwise, I hope everybody has a beautiful week and I will see you guys right here next Monday. Bye. I always feel so much pressure afterward. Like I forgot to answer. Like I'll forget like part of my answer that I wanted to say. Yeah. I hope I didn't do that. So present me is editing past me. And I realized I didn't do a tattoo reveal. I do have on like that adhesive like second skin whatever it's called. So it looks terrible. So it's on my leg down there. I'm gonna pop up a picture of it here. <laughs> Just wanted to come on and say that. Sorry about that. <laughs>